Honey, it's Zog, Sex from here, and I'm here for another book review. Uh, today I, um, did a lot of nothing. Um, I did some videos, and I did write a chapter for the fanfiction, but, um, that's about it. I've only done today. Uh, I had some time to read, so I sat down and read some more, and, um, about a month ago, I was really interested to see some, um, YouTubers who had books. Uh, and that's why I started reading this book is because I found out she was a YouTuber, is a YouTuber especially, and um, and she wrote a book. And so basically the book is called Girl Online by Zoe Suggs. I'm guessing I'm saying her name because I've never seen any of her actual um, stuff on YouTube. I actually subscribed to her today so I can watch some stuff later. I mean, you don't have to subscribe to them to watch your stuff, but I usually do. And then I unsubscribe if I... Um, I'm not interested in this stuff, but I'm pretty sure by the looks of what she put up, I would be kind of interested to follow her a little bit. So I subscribed to her today, and I'll be looking at her stuff later. So, um, usually when I review a book, especially a book like this, or just any book really that's like kind of like a YA novel or a teen novel, um, I always do specific things, like I talk about the cover, and then I talk about the author sometimes, and then I talk about the story, and then I talk about my reactions to the story and how I felt, and then I kind of wrap it up with maybe some closing out statements, and then I give like a star review. So that's basically what I'm going to do today, like always, so that's nothing new, but that's new to the people who maybe have just joined or whatever, because I know this probably, um review will get me some more viewers that probably haven't seen a lot of my reviews yet so that's what I usually do and that's what I'm gonna do today so basically um let's talk about the cover the cover is really actually quite nice um it's got that kind of tumblr feel you know like um when you go to tumblr and you look up bedrooms on tumblr and you see all those like stringy lights around somebody's bedroom that's really what it, it is it just says girl online it's a really cute font it says her name um and it has these like little um pictures polaroid pictures on this like light fixture like you know like christmas light light fixture kind of thing that she would hang around your room to look really cool on tumblr that's really what it looks like and it's a really cute um cover i think um it's really you know something i would expect from her because what i've heard from about zoella is that she's like beauty vlogging and all that kind of stuff so it was something i definitely expected from her and um so i wasn't disappointed in a little cover it's a cute cover um there's a lot of like um controversy about this book some people talk about it was a ghost written book and i'm really not honestly all that sure of, about all the details to it so i don't even know like how to respond to some of that stuff the thing is and i probably did bad by doing this i um i follow a lot of people on um youtube or not a lot i follow like four or five maybe that people who are booktubers on youtube and they do basically the same thing i do they read a book and then they'll like review it and stuff like that and one of the people I follow I can't even re remember who it was did a review on this book and basically what she said was like the book was under age for her and um, I think she's probably about my age she said the book was under age for her and um, I didn't really know if she was my age so that's why I'm saying I think cause I don't know um, she said that it was under age and um, she was going to review it as if she was a 14 year old or maybe a 15 year old reading this book. And um, on my channel I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to like review it like I would back then. Even though I may have liked this book back then or whatever. I just want to review it like I am now. Because I've, obviously my books I want. I don't necessarily like have to get into like an adult book or anything like that. Because like I think there are a lot of YA novels and teen novels and children's novels even. That um are well written and very interesting so I mean I'm not gonna do that kind of stuff on my channel but if she did it I mean you know I thought it was pretty interesting how she um, reviewed it so she didn't have to be mean or anything like that but I just want to review it as if I am reading it now which I did um, and I just wanna review it as if I was how I am now I don't want to review it like I'm older or younger I want to review it how I am now so that I can explain to people that are my age and are looking for books that would suit their age and their personality can find a book that they like. So, that's what I'm going to do. That 
being said, I'm not going to be rude in this review. Um, I'm going to be brutally honest, but I'm not going to be mean or rude because the girl that wrote this novel, she is absolutely, positively adorable. Look how cute she is. I mean, look at that. That is so absolutely adorable. How she did her little, and I love this. Like, this is cute. And the novel is actually really cute. It's um, set up nice. Um, it's, it's a nice and big, and the, the words are bigger too, so like me, I have like problems like reading, like, I mean those are the size words, the words are nice size, and um, with my wearing glasses and stuff like that, I usually don't have much time to read, and if I do, it's either late at night, or midway through the day, and you know how like you eat lunch, and then you're like sleepy, and so the words get kind of blurred sometimes, and I'm like, falling asleep or something like that so bigger words are good for me and I know there are words um, books that you can get especially like for people who have problems seeing and so like, I don't have problems seeing but when I'm tired I'm like uh, and I probably shouldn't try to read anything when I'm tired but I always do because it helps me go to sleep so the um, story kind of starts off with um, the girl writing a uh, chapter uh, the first chapter is basically uh, her writing a um, blog post and she's like I'm gonna be anonymous and blah 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 and then it goes to the first chapter and the um the you see like little text messages throughout the book um that's nice the only thing I'll say about this book and I did not really I could only get maybe the book has let's see 344 pages that is how much this book has this edition of this book has 344 pages the rest like there's one page of acknowledgments and then this is your back flap cover thing so that and then there are more to the series this isn't even the only one so um so there's more um let's see I want to say I got through maybe ugh, I could only get through like 14 pages of this book before I was just like done um and it's not her and it's not her writing I think a lot of my problems with this book was that it was just underage and and I, I don't know if maybe the other girl reviewing it kind of swayed me to feel that way but like I like to read reviews of books and that's not what I base my book choice off of usually I read the back and if it's like you know not enough detail I'll read the front um, flappy cover and usually by the end of the front flappy cover if I'm still interested I'll go on Goodreads and add it to my list and I may or may not get the book that day um, but when I go on Goodreads especially when I'm finishing a book I like to read through the first few reviews and see how other people recently felt about it and there are a lot of people on there who are maybe my age or older who feel the same way I think it's just this this novel is a good novel for maybe a 15 year old or not a uh, early 20s I just I mean I'm sure there are 20 year olds out there who got into it who liked it who enjoyed it but me personally I don't I don't I didn't ever get into it um, it took me like 11 pages to figure that out and I just kind of shut it and went on with my life so, I mean, I like I said, I don't think she didn't write well. I don't even know, like, they were talking about ghostwriting, so I'm not sure about that. But the writing is nice. The way that the book is set up is nice. I felt like I could um, connect to her when she was talking about how girls have to feel like this. And she says, you're supposed to look perfect all the time. The coincidence, your hormones decide to go bonkers. Everybody cares what you wear. Um... What you, wear, what you wear has to look perfect. That kind of stuff I felt like I could kind of relate to. And that's why I kind of was thinking, this book isn't going to be that bad. And then I got through that first chapter and it was like, ugh. You know, like, not, not, ugh, like, this is disgusting. But, like, ugh, I can't relate, you know. Like, I'm in college now and I'm just about to round off my first year in college. And, um, so that means three weeks from today. Well, four, really, because I'll be... Uh, three weeks I'll have classes and then the next week after that which means four weeks from today I'll be starting exams when you're in, in college it's not like that anymore nobody cares about your well I mean at, at, at a technical school is where I go I go to a technical college and nobody cares what you wear to tech nobody cares if you got the prettiest outfit on nobody cares if I wore the shirt three times in a row nobody cares if if anything they just don't care because they're there to get their grade and they're there to move on they don't care and when I was in high school nobody really cared I mean not myself at least um 
I didn't really care about what I wore. I was going to go to school and I was going to be comfortable. And that's why you see me wear a lot of baggy shirts and baggy jeans and comfortable shoes. Because I'm not going to be uncomfortable trying to learn this hard equation or this hard nursing problem or this hard whatever else I got to learn. I just don't like to be uncomfortable. And so, of course, I'm not in an environment where you have to wear certain things. So it's no big deal to me. So I think a lot of the things is, and I'm not sure if maybe it was just my hometown that I grew up up, but I always see like stories where it's set in high school. Everyone's like, oh, she's not wearing designer jeans. What? Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just like a fiction thing everybody likes to do nowadays is like to automatically assume. Maybe that's how it was back then. I don't know. Maybe it's how everybody has this like fantasy imagination in their mind. And maybe it's because I went to a rural place where, you know, that. But I've never met anybody, anybody in high school who said, Oh my god, you're not wearing, I don't know, something, blah, whatever, add, add a designer label. I've never been, and I enjoyed, like, talking about, like, high school stuff, I enjoyed the Pretty Little Liar series, I love that series, but they talked about going to the mall every day, I'm not even joking, I enjoyed the series, I love the series, and I enjoyed the TV show, it's kind of crazy, but I just, I don't know if that's how everybody perceives high school to be now but or maybe that's how it is maybe like I said maybe it's just where I grew up but nobody I mean I'm not saying nobody went to the to the mall I mean that was a pretty popular hangout site for people in high school where I went but nobody's like oh my god you're wearing Walmart versus Old Navy I mean people would bag on somebody about wearing Walmart but at the end of the day who, who cared you know um I just, I've never been really interested in people like that, and I guess maybe I stayed away from them, and so it wasn't as bad. I don't know. The people at my school weren't all that glamorous, so it's not like, you know, and I'm not saying they didn't have fashion sense, because there was a lot of people there who did have fashion sense, but, you know, it wasn't like, you know, oh, I went to the mall last night, bought this, and now I'm looking cute. It was never something like that. It was always just like, whatever, about the boonies, who cares, you know? So, um, it was never part of my idea. So, that's why I can't really get into books like this anymore. I think it's because I've grown up, maybe. And, um, so yeah. But, uh, out of star rating, I honestly would only give it, like, two stars out of five, or three stars out of five. If I'm being generous, because she looks absolutely adorable. If we're basing it on how cute she is and how good her YouTube is, three stars. But if we're just basing it on my interest in this book, it's going to be two stars. And like I said, it's not her fault. It's not the writing. It's nothing. It's not. It's the subject matter, I think. And I really kind of hope, and I, I never looked into it, but I really kind of hope either she makes another series where it's a little bit older people dealing with life. Because, like I said, you know, you have to relate to people. And people are definitely going to review it if it relates to them well. And if they're if it doesn't relate to them, they're not going to review it that well. So, I kind of hope she would do, like, another series where it was, like, older people. Like, maybe in their 20s or something like that. Th then I think it would be okay. I'm really not sure how old she is. She may only be like 18 or something. It doesn't really say. But, you know what? I'm gonna look it up. Whoa! Wait a minute. <clears throat> this is the same girl. Cause this thing is saying 26 years old. Wait a minute. Yeah, she was... She's 26. So she's 26 writing about a 14 year old? I mean... I'm not saying you can't write about people that are younger than you. And I think a lot of it, and I'm not, they're saying that, like, it wasn't based off, like, real life, but they were talking about how it talks about different things she did, um, experience in high school. Not in the book, but, like, stuff like cyberbullying and anxiety problems and stuff like that. She talks about the character having that kind of stuff, and that's how she can relate to the character. But, I don't know. I would rather her write something that was something like in her 20s or something like that. And maybe as the book goes on, maybe the character ages. And maybe she's thinking about writing a um, new book. I'm not sure. I haven't looked it up. I haven't talked about it. I don't know. I just really couldn't get into this book. And so that's just my final thoughts on it. Um, like I said, it's a nice cover. Good idea, but it just didn't connect with me. And, and that's not saying that it wasn't written well. It's just, if it doesn't connect, I just can't, you know, get into it, and I end up closing it. And this isn't the first book I've ever done that with. There are so many books on my to-reads list. If it has one 
two or sometimes three stars I just ended up closing the book because I like I had a friend once back in high school I had a friend back in high school and um, we were really close close friends but we were friends for that little bit because she had to leave and she ended up graduating before we could really become close friends and um, she would talk about reading she loved reading and um, she talked about how she would read a book and if, even if she hated it she would have to read it to the very end and I was like oh my god I can never get into that like if I don't like the book I'm just gonna put it down like I don't see a point in going on and I'm not saying like just bagging on her cuz hey I give you props if you can sit to the end of a book that you hate you are some kind of mad awesome because I just can't if I can't get into the book I'm not gonna waste three or four weeks reading a 400 page book or whatever and and not like it because then I could have wasted that time on a book that I do like so that's just how I feel so um like I said that's my opinion on the book <laughs> um, I know that's probably kind of harsh and maybe some people will hear like oh my god I can't believe you said that and I didn't I tried to be as nice as I could about this book because I did really think I went into it wanting to read it and love it and I really maybe because I needed to connect to the girl that actually wrote it I don't know there are some other books by um like Dan and Phil that have been written and um what's his name Pewdie no PewDiePie wrote a book but I don't probably won't never read his book um because I just I don't know PewDiePie has kind of like lost his lost his interest I've lost my interest in PewDiePie so um I know Shane Dawson wrote a book I would love to read and just several YouTubers have written books that I do want to read. And um, Tyler Oakley wrote one, and I want to read his too. So maybe I can read those and give my opinions on them. I know somebody out there will probably be like, oh my god. And I'm pretty sure these people have a lot of fans, and that's another reason why I'm scared to review them. Because they have so many fans that probably do like the book. But that's just my opinions. And, you know, I'm not saying that affects my view on her as a person. Because, like I said, I'm still subscribed to her at the end of the day. And I'm probably going to watch like 10 of her. 10 million of her videos tonight so <laughs> you know so whatever so thank you guys for watching if there's any books out there that you'd like me to read you can list them below or you can find me on twitter and um i'll check them out thanks guys bye hey guys if you would like to please subscribe to me and below you can find different links to all my social medias and where you can reach me bye